is brought to you by the skill modeler.com. Hey guys, back again this time with another requested video and this is how to clean your airbrush. Now what I'm doing right here is putting some airbrush cleaner into the airbrush and just spraying it out to get rid of some paint that might be in the nozzle and then using a brush to clean out the cup and the inside of the airbrush from any paints and I'm also going to spray uh, the cleaner out while I'm brushing off the rest of the paint in the cup. Now just a little side note here, I am cleaning out zero paints uh, out of my airbrush and uh, if you use uh, like let's say Vallejo, Vallejo has their own cleaner, uh, Elkvat has their own cleaner, pretty much every paint system has their own cleaner and I would advise to use that or uh, use the one sold at uh, the hardware store which you know works on that particular type of paint. Otherwise, if you don't, just stick with the brand and uh, there's no going wrong there. So now that most of it is out, it's time to disassemble the airbrush and really get into it. With the airbrush disassembled, I took out my uh, special airbrush cleaning brush that's a lot of brush in one sentence and some more of the airbrush cleaner uh, on a paper towel to clean off all the separate parts. Just moving over to a fresh area on the paper towel, applying some more of the airbrush cleaner and cleaning off the needle. And again moving on to a fresh piece on the paper towel and putting some fresh airbrush cleaner on there to move on to the next part. For the inner part of the nozzle, I'm taking out some fresh airbrush cleaner and putting that straight in there and then taking the uh, airbrush cleaning brush out to get all the uh, remaining pieces of paint out of there. There might be some bigger pieces left in there uh, that the brush didn't really get out so I take out my needle and just scrape the insides clean until everything is gone. Now for the main body of the airbrush I used a couple different methods. Uh, the first one was at the beginning of the video with the brush and some airbrush cleaner just in the cup cleaning that out and then I'm going over it with a paper towel and some airbrush cleaner uh, to clean off everything on the outside and I will get in there with a pointy paper towel and the brush later on as well. And another side note, when I'm moving from uh, my primers to colors or uh, color to color, I'm just using the method I used in the beginning of the video, just put some of the airbrush cleaner into the cup and a brush and just spray it through until everything uh, looks clean and then go over it with a paper towel and not totally take it apart and then you're pretty much good to go. Um, when I'm going to go to clear coat, I just clean it all the way out like I'm doing right now and then move on to the clear coat to make sure that I don't have any leftover paint in the airbrush that might get into the clear coat and ruin it. Now pretty much the final check is running the needle through the airbrush and seeing if there's any paint on there. If there is, I'm going to keep running it through there and cleaning it off until all the paint is gone. And when all the paint is gone, it's time for reassembly. And of course, when you're doing this on video, it's not going as smoothly as you want to, but you're going to have to look past that and um, not worry about it too much and just act like this went together straight without any problems. Yes. So, if you want to see me do uh, specific tutorials, just leave a comment down below. Uh, don't be too specific on the kit builds you want to see me do. 
um, if I have them in my stash I will of course get to them eventually but that's just uh, what I feel like doing and if you want to see me do a specific build you can always send me the kit but please email me first if you want to do that be sure to check out the scale modeler this is my online website I sell zero paints scale production and C1 models products along with loads of other cool stuff also don't forget to check us out on Facebook and if you have any questions or suggestions shoot us an email or post a comment and of course as always thanks for watching hope to see you guys next time